Also, we know this area in Sherman Oaks is a high risk zone for landslides declared by the USGS. With more on that, let's go back to the desk with assignment manager Mark Liu, who has more on this. Mark, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rick. Thanks. Uh, the US Geological Survey, as you had mentioned, does maintain a database of landslide risks across the nation, including here in Southern California, in partnership with the California Geological Survey. So all of this data is in a searchable map that's available online, and it shows very clearly that the landslide area today was in a high risk zone. And if you come out to my screen, I want to show you this is the map we're talking about here. It's the U.S. landslide inventory, and all of these red and orange dots across Southern California are areas where there's either been a landslide or there is an increased risk of a landslide. Now, this morning's landslide was in Sherman Oaks near the corner of Ventura Canyon and Cheltenham Drive. And if we zoom into that area, you can see here, there was a very quick zoom, this large red bubble that you see right here. This is an area of high confidence of uh, landslide risk, and there has been a landslide here in the past. Now, this area is basically right where that landslide happened this morning. If you zoom out a little bit further, you can see multiple places in this area of Sherman Oaks here have red and orange bubbles. These are all areas that are potentially at risk during rainstorms or earthquakes. The U.S. landslide inventory says earthquakes uh, have caused landslides here before as well as periods of heavy rain. Now, if you zoom all the way out, you can see it continues through the mountainous region here, including down over here in the Malibu area uh, here. But this morning's landslide Landslide clearly was in an area that had previously been noted as being dangerous because of the steep terrain there and the likelihood that a debris flow or any kind of movement of the earth could cause damage to homes there. So uh, this last time that map was updated was in March of 2019. They continue to update it frequently so we can get some more data as more landslides occur in Southern California. That's the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you.